Hi, welcome back to Mia Monami. And today we are headed for a place called Roquefort Le Pan, which is midway between the Mediterranean and the Southern Alps. And we are going to stay in an electric vehicle friendly jeet. Now, as you'll know, if you've been following our uh, adventures over the last few months, when we've gone into places like Italy, camping and stuff like that, that, uh, well, you know, on occasion, we've, uh, we've struggled to find a charge and we've certainly struggled to find a campsite with a charge. But this Jeet, Lumesugo, uh, promises to have full electric charging facilities. So we're excited to see what it's like to, uh, to not camp off grid, but to, uh, to live on grid. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in the south of France, so uh, sit back and uh, enjoy the ride. Mr. Boo insisted that we stop for a trendy coffee in Cancenet. And actually, we've come across this place called the Copenhagen Coffee Lab. Uh, it's incredibly busy. It's a great little sort of co-working space. And the coffee's fantastic. It's not super cheap, but it is really good quality, isn't it, Mr. Boo? Mr. Boo, it's the tree man of Cancer Mare. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> so we're going to turn right up past the race course here. When I was a kid, I used to work in a betting shop, and in winter, when all the English racing was frozen off because of frost, uh, occasionally you'd get <laughs> you'd get racers, trotting racers, on the telly in the corner of the betting shop from Cancer Mare. I always thought it sounded impossibly glamorous, Cancer Mare. And a hundred years later, here you are. <laughs> You're so funny. Funny man. No, we're not going on the motorway, Mr. We're, Boo. It we're not going, we're not going on the motorway. It's very scary, this, because you often see signs for the A8 alongside normal roads and of course we did once make that mistake and end up on the motorway and uh, it was a bit um, squeaky bum time wasn't it I'm intrigued by this little building here mr boot look at it i think it's an old electricity substation you see quite a lot of them in it on the other side of the border in Italy, don't you? Yeah. But not so many in France. I go around the roundabout yeah. and through the tunnel. Yeah. Through the dark tunnel. Ooh, scary. This looks quite an old tunnel, doesn't it? The Tunnel de Villeneuve. <gasps> Spooky. Spooky tunnel. Just like that, you are into the country. How lovely. You literally switch from a really urban environment down there, not that greatly attractive. Uh, and then suddenly you come through the end of that tunnel and look at that. I just love this painted school here at uh, Villeneuve Lou Bay, isn't it fantastic? we spot our first sign for rock for Le Pan and grass. Chateau Neuf de Grasse is where the great film actor and rather, rather good writer Dirk Bogard lived for many, many years before it was kind of fashionable to, to live in this area. Uh, 
and he lived in Chateauneuf de Gas in a uh, a house called Le Pigeonnier, didn't he, Mr. Boo? Pigeonnier. Pigeonnier. Just a short walk from Harrods. Sure that's the title of his, I think, the last volume of his autobiography, which, uh, if you want to read a book set down here, it's a, it's a bit heartbreaking, uh, but it's fabulous. And it's interesting, we're now about to go onto a patch of road which is 70 kilometers an hour and people are often saying to us you know what's it like when you, your top speed's 45 and pe other people can go at 70 and there's a giant truck behind us well you're gonna find out <laughs> This is possibly the fastest road we've ever been on. I don't think we've been on an 80 before. We're in a massive 40 up here, about 24 miles an hour. <laughs> it really is quite a climb. Um, we're down to 41 kilometers of range. Uh, we're, we're certainly going to get there without any problem, but uh, we've used more power than I expected because this is a very long, steep climb, but here we are now entering Roquefort, Roquefort Le Pan, which is where we're hoping to find our EV friendly Jeet and plug Elton in for his holidays. Plug him in. Elton's going on his holidays. We're going to go right shortly. Okay. Here. Here. This is, this is all right, yeah. Down here? Yeah. Oh, and there's a, a van coming at us backwards. This looks very, uh, rural. Are you sure, Mr. Boo? We. Up there? Up, up here? No, around. Follow the road. Right. Okay. Isn't it? It's like a little Hamlet. The Mild Cigar by Benson and Hitchison. Do you remember that advert? No. Oh, it's a cracker. You're never alone with a strand. I miss cigarette advertising, don't you? I'm glad you're using uh, Google Maps, Mr. Boo. Be a bit lost with that. Just in here. I'm a sugo there. You're not looking on the sides like what I am. Good job we can turn on a sixpence or a five centime, as they say in France. In. Oh, I can see the charger. I think I can see the EV charger. Oh, I have to go back. Elton's having a bit of a struggle with the gravel. I have to say, Elton's not a fan of gravel. Is he? Not a fan of gravel, Elton. We've had gravelly problems before. She goes. You just got to be gentle. It's like you're, like you're coming up in snow. And this, this must be Elton's special parking spot here. Look. How lovely! That lovely garden up there. Oh, exciting. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Nice lovely. to meet you. Oh, lovely to meet you. Welcome. Wow, it's Welcome beautiful. Welcome to Mumasugo. Had one parked here. <laughs> Get the picture. <laughs> this, you know, we, we drive electric. We only have two tiny cars. But actually, and a twinkle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you? Jean-François. Enchanté, tu viens, salut. Oui, salut. Bonjour. Oh, yeah, I have a Maybe full tour. Yeah, it's not you. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Here she is. You see, you get quite a bit of luggage in. Do you pray? <laughs> <laughs> What is a gîte, technically? What's the difference in a gîte and a villa or a gîte and a hotel? A gîte is self-catering, nearly always, although there are some that the owners will provide food, but nearly always it's a self-catering apartment or house or cottage, or, but it's, it's mainly the self-catering. Right. And does the owner usually live nearby? Is that, is that part of the gîte thing or not I necessarily? I think probably, yes. I think there'd be... There aren't that many that would describe themselves as jeets, but um, have an off-site owner. I would right. say mostly the owners would be close by, yeah. Cool. In, in the same complex, or at least in the same sort of village or yeah. something. Yeah, So, here we go. This is the, we go. <laughs> the living room. This is lovely. With a welcome folder of information, all sorts of great stuff you need to know in there. I noticed you've got a lot of great information because you've also got a blog, haven't you? Yeah, which I've been writing for uh, ten and a half years. So right. there's a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've even been to more places than we have. Oh uh, yeah, I've been. You know, we've we, we arrived here when our youngest was two, and our right. oldest is now twenty-three. So we've sort of done the whole toddler stuff, and all you know children, teenagers, young adults, and old adults. <laughs> <laughs> Not that old. Well, you know. Anyway, so yeah, you have um, your own private terrace out here. Gorgeous. With a barbecue, Into some the sun, sun lounges. Let's point out that it is mid-October here. I know. It's still in t-shirts. It's mid-October and it's uh, yeah. it's tannerific, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Well, this is a real sun trap terrace, this. Yeah, and even is. in midwinter, you can eat out for lunch in the bright sun here. Yeah. Um, there's a hammock and petanque at the end and a trampoline if you're so inclined. Being bouncy. <laughs> yeah. that and ha up the hammock's top got there my is name the on pool, it. which at this stage is closed, but you're welcome to go and look at it. Yeah. And if, you, if you're into cold water swimming, I guess you could have a swim. But Pool's open most of the year. It's open weather dependent because it's not heated. So right. it tends to stay open um, until about now but yeah. definitely till the end of September. Um, so in here actually this is a sofa bed which opens out to be a 140 regular size double bed flat bed. So right. It's a pretty comfortable sofa bed and we get lots of families. families. Yeah. yeah so you could accommodate what four? Four yeah. yeah. Um, this is a combination uh, oven that's not just a microwave. Right. And um, we provide tea, coffee, spices, oil, vinegar that sort of thing in there. Behind right. here you've got um, dishwasher and a fridge with cool. um, a little welcome oh. milk so that you can have your cuppa. Milk and, and wine, the two essentials. You know, absolutely. Nice bathroom, nice little sink. And then the bedroom, which... Um, Lovely. Yeah. Lovely light coming in. Yeah, it gets the morning through to so that's east so it gets all the morning light um, yeah if you like it dark at night and dark it's very dark at night here there's no street lighting oh, if you like it even darker and dark in the morning there are shutters of course oh, right. yeah. then here we have look this is us here this little star right in the middle of this map wow. and basically everything here in a normal car is half an hour within half an hour right so that's the var and therefore the airport's just there yeah and you've got the whole Cancio Mer Villeneuve, that's the beginning of Antibes. Yeah. Um, Mougin, up here, grass, grass is only 20 minutes. Gordon, have you been to Gordon? No. Oh, I well, that's fantastic. Anyway, all of that, like, literally, um, within, within 30 minutes. So it's um, a great place to base yourself and tour. Really, yeah. really. And not just well a car, you could cycle, couldn't you, if you yeah, were cycling? Yeah, it's a great cycling area, and it's a wonderful place for an Ami. <laughs> <laughs> Not. It is. Well, it is, but it's very hilly, as you can see from the... You yeah, know. you go slowly, but oh. uh, we like a hill challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Chateau Neuf is a real revelation. It's um, completely hidden and no one knows about it. I, I want to go to Chateau Neuf, because that's where Dirk Bogard was, wasn't it? In Chateau Neuf de Grasse. See. Yes, and that. Le Pigeonnier was his okay. house, which I'd love to just no, go well, it's, I mean, it, for us, in our car, it's ten minutes. 
Right. I don't know what that translates to you, but it's four days. (laughs) (laughs) No. And of course, the magic that you have here is if you were to come to this sheet in an electric car. We have charging. You yeah. have charging. Do you do. want to show us it? Sure. We um, have two plugs. This um, is, I mean, I can't tell it, you. We, we stayed somewhere in Italy, which we absolutely loved, but they literally looked at us like we were crazy when yes. we said, have you got an electric charger? It kind of can't be closer. That's it's fantastic. There. I do have to yeah. keep cutting back the rosemary because it's kind of takes over and the, when the lavender's in bloom as well. But there's one there. Yeah. And there is another one there so that we can charge at the same time. Electric car, they are... Right. actually for charging and they deliver more than don't ask me the technicalities of it but they deliver more than a standard domestic plug right but they're not a super char- you know they're yeah. not super yeah. fast so ideally um guests charge overnight as we do because also we have um off-peak electricity at night right but it you know that they, they yeah knowing like you driving electric car it's just so convenient to have it right there yeah, yeah. not have to go off into yeah. town or Rockville does have four points, which is not bad, but... Yeah. Um, but still in season, yeah. they, they could be quite yeah. busy, couldn't they? And I, yeah, it's right <clears> there, so. I mean, I think increasingly it's crazy if people don't have the facility to charge, even if they charge their guests for the electricity. It's yeah. just the convenience, oh, it's, isn't it? it's totally the convenience, totally. It, because, t- you know, it can take... I don't know how long yours takes to charge, and possibly not so long, but, you know, hours, we've had yeah. a car that yeah. does take quite a long time, longer than our current cars. And you don't want to just have to always try and find a coffee or yeah you know yeah um so this yeah do it while you're here overnight yeah and for the moment we do offer it free of charge because it's just part of the service to be renewed possibly if electricity <laughs> goes mad That's but great. you know How cold is it, Mr. Boo? Dare we swim? It's refreshing. <laughs> Here's the thermometer. It's uh, 17. Oh, that is cooler than the sea. Mm. Yeah, we always tell guests at this time of year to go swim in the sea. Yeah, yeah, because I, I swam in Villefranche, yes, it was 22. Yeah, winter, there's a bit more of a view out that way because sort of leaves drop, but kind of quite open. As you can see, it's very peaceful here. It's forgot to ask you about is how much? How much did it cost? <laughs> how much does it cost, roughly speaking, yeah. per week um, at okay. different seasons? So um, in high season, in July and August, we only do weekly from Saturday to Saturday. Right. And that's 850 euros a week. Right. Uh, direct. We are on a lot of the OTAs, the um, things like Airbnb and yeah. Yeah. Um, TripAdvisor and stuff, where it will be a lot more. Um, All right. And we really push the book direct. Right. So um, we, we'll put a link in the video to, to your website yeah. so you can book direct yeah, uh, and avoid paying all the Airbnb. Um, yeah. That's good. But uh, yeah, so that's it's 8.50. Other times the rest of the year, it's only July and August that's Saturday, Saturday. The rest of the year we have a three night minimum. Right. Um, flexible arrival um, dates. You know, it's not Monday to Friday or whatever, it's, it's whenever. And um, varies, obviously. Low season, which is November through to March, the cheapest time, it's 90 euros a night right. for the three nights. Which is very, and um, that's for two people or four people? It's up same. to four people, yeah. So for yeah. four people, 90 euros is... Yeah, no, it's, it's a real nice bargain. Finish. Fantastic. Well, um, I think we're going to enjoy our stay here, don't you, Mr. Boo? Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, uh, please give us a comment and please think about sending us a coffee. We will see you on the next one. Remember, stay charged. Bye.